Well, let's look at the line tool. It seems pretty simple, but it can be pretty confusing sometimes. If I grab the pencil, which is a line tool, and I click, if you move the pencil around, you'll notice that it turns color sometimes. So when I'm in parallel with the red axis, it turns red. Parallel with the green axis, green. And parallel with the blue axis, blue. Now, sometimes it's hard when I'm drawing lines to know which axis I'm on. What I can do is I can hold down the cursor arrow keys. If I hold down the up key or down key, it'll actually lock it into the up and down or the blue axis. If I hit the right arrow key, I can actually have it turn red and I will lock onto the red axis. And if I hit the left key, the left arrow key, it will lock it into the green arrow, the green axis. So this will allow me to make sure I'm on the right axis when I'm drawing a line. So I can just point a line here. If I want to stay on the red axis, I can make a red axis. Back to the green axis again. And it have all sorts of tricks, like if I want to make this line as long as the other line, if I just bring my mouse over and go to the end, it will actually go to that line. I can do a red axis and I can make a square and thereby make a face if I want to. Again, this you could just use do this during the rectangle using the rectangle tool, but if you wanted to make some kind of polygon face, um, you could use the line tool for that. Another thing with the uh, that's similar to the line tool is the arc tool. Let's erase this and go to the arc tool. I can use the letter A, which is the shortcut key for the arc tool. Now, if I wanted to make an arc that was three feet long, I would click, go along whatever axis I wanted. I could type in down in the length box, three feet, hit enter. And now notice the dimension box goes to the word bulge. And I can make it, if you will, bulge in, either, in any direction. And I have to put a value in. So I'm going to have it bulge two feet. So I type in two feet. And so there's my arc that is three feet long with a bulge of two feet. I can use the orbit tool and take a look at it. If you notice when you get really close, it's made up of a bunch of straight lines. This is because a computer can draw straight lines much more easily than it can curved lines. You also have the option when making arcs or circles to change the number of straight lines to make it look more, more or less round. Uh, the more edges you make, the more difficult it will be for the computer to actually make those drawings. Your SketchUp drawing should now look something like this.